How's it going everyone? Scott McKay here from Airbrush Down and Dirty Tricks. Today what I'm going to do is a video on how to do all this multi-layer candy job with inset panels, kind of a lowrider theme. So basically what I've already done is I've already laid out the panel design and backmasked everything. I'm going to show you how to do old school lace, fish scale, fan patterns, sequentially masking your way out of it with a lot of different candy layering for a really deep multi-level effect. It's a really cool project to do. Uh, I'm doing this with All House of Color. But it's also easily done in Kratex. Just follow the paint systems and follow the lesson. This project I'm going to be doing, I'll do a few different takes and videos of this. But basically this is one uh, bagger project we're doing with kind of a low rider feel. And we're going to be doing some classic panel designs. We're going to be doing um, snake scales in here. You know, scales. We're going to do some lace work. I'm going to do some fan, you know, like a fan pattern through here. And then some candying over the silver. So I'm going to break down each section as I go. We'll do a little high speed and mix it up and I'll just give you the general base of what I'm doing. What I started with, I laid out all my design work with fine line tape, different fine line tapes representing different things. Um, and I'm gonna do the patterns inside this. We're gonna remove this and then we're gonna do another candy inside here, pull it and then we're gonna do another you know, drop shadow in here make it look like three levels deep. And then what I do once I figure out, I mark what each one's gonna be. This is gonna be scale, fan, lace, and I start cutting out each window section and peeling it. And we'll go through each section from there and show you the progression. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I've got my pattern here. And the snake scales, you know, I always look at it like, okay, if this was a real fish scale or snake scale, however you want to do it, it's more fish scale. You want them overlapping like this. So if the water's coming across the bike, they, it rolls over. So it's going to go, so you got to step this way. So I'm going to pull and shade, pull and shade working like that so this is pretty simple i'm just cutting them in strips i'm going to peel my transfer tape like this I'm going to lay it down and i'm going to overlap over and make sure i'm straight with everything and usually i'd use, I'd use a squeegee but this is so small and easy it just lays down but i will use a squeegee for the final just to get it into position. And then we're just going to roll back the transfer tape. And this is where it's going to go. It's all going to be in here. And we'll get started on the painting. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to pull, we're going to paint, pull a section, paint, pull a section, and just work our way down. And we'll get started in just a sec. All right, time to get started. So what I've done, I've mixed up some black with a little bit of candy blue. I'm going to be using House of Color Oriental Blue Candy in this job. I'm going to be using House of Color Cobalt Blue and then black. So what I did is I took the black and I mixed a little Cobalt Blue into it so it's not, so it's not pure black. That's going to do my dark shadow colors. I'm going to do candy overlays of both those colors into mixed. So I'll start out here where it's not going to kind of matter and do a test. You're just gonna come across. You're not gonna like, you're not gonna do this with it. You're gonna kind of cut across the whole thing. That way you're putting more on the bottom, you know, towards the next scale and let it lighter at the top. And that's gonna give it a distance effect. You're gonna check your pass, make sure it's good. The way you do this, you can just peel and see that little bit, it gets on everything. I probably don't even need to go that much. I'm going to do a little bit less. Because we're going to start getting into the panel. And then it's going to go one, two, three, like that. Yeah, three passes. Then go. I'll show you a couple. And then we'll put this thing into high speed. I made this pattern up so it can get up on each scale. I could probably make it, before I make it available, I'll probably make this gap a little bit bigger. I don't want it too big. You want to make sure that when it's one, two, three, that when it's done, it looks like the overlap. And it's a little bit of a pain with gloves. I'm going to pull the gloves off. And I'm going to repeat. See how it's already starting to look layered? So keep going. One, two, three. Kiss it with a fourth. And 
Yep, just make that a little bit bigger. If you're making this file yourself, make that tab a little bit bigger. So you're not pulling each one individually, and you'll be a lot happier. One, two, three, four. And keep on going. And getting into the last couple. We'll do this. So doing one, two, three, little fourth kiss. One, two, three, four. And that's really it. This is a wonderful approach to do it. They do make hard stencils. They do make hard stencils you can just move and go, which works just as well. Uh, this way they stay more in line exactly. Uh, they don't vary at all, so it's personal preference. I like doing it this way to keep consistent. And how I really do it, I won't do one part. I'll pull a roll off each part, shade, and pull a roll off each part. That way I'm done through all of it. The whole bike's done. Now what I'm going to do is going to go in. I'm going to drop shadow like that. And I'm going to drop shadow that. So it looks like this is deep inside. I'm going to put a little bit down the bottom, too. But more at the top and then i'm going to candy over it when i start candying everything else so that's how you do basic snake scales fish scales however you want to describe them and i'm going to do lace here and a fan pattern here and then i'm going to candy it we'll show you that after because i want to do all the candy at the same time so there's continuity across the whole bike so that's the basic of how to do fish scales for whatever color candy you want and go to town okay i finished all the snake scales on the pieces so the next one i'm going to do is the fan pattern really simple to do i'm going to use this window right here all i do is i make a point and you can get all measurements if you want to get really technical it's a pretty small area i'm going to go from here and i'm just going to stack tape you can use wider tape if you want i do one layer Same number of passes relatively, and then I move it. I usually take these off, take that same piece of tape. You can mask this off if you need to. I'm gonna go from that same point. I'm gonna go up, up one more. I'm gonna go a little bit less than that. Cover. I'm using the same black that I used here. My black has a little blue mixed in just because it's going to getting blue candy over it. So we're just going to leave it like that. There we go again. One. And let's see if we can sneak one more in there. Just a little bit. Just like that. Now, same drop shadow. A little bit down below, but obviously more up top to create that downward look. And that's the simple fan. And when this gets all candy with the blue tones, it's gonna look outstanding. Next up on the agenda is gonna be the lace pattern. I'm gonna show you that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the last thing I'm doing on this is the lace pattern. So what I've got here, some basic lace. And what I did beforehand, I took a little uh, 3M Super 77 spray, not near the parts, you know, near my exhaust fan. I held it up, and from a distance, I gave it just a light, light spray of the Super 77. I let it sit for a little bit, just so it's tacky, but it's not going to leave any, you know, major glue resin behind or glue at all. If it does leave a couple little things, a little wax and grease remover will take it off just fine. But I'm not going to have that problem. So it's a little tacky, which is cool. So that allows me to position it, you know, where I want it, and it'll just hold in place. Just a little tension. You don't want it like super sticky. You just want a little tension to put it down. 
Then I have another little piece. This little piece is going to line up. Let me go over here, out of the camera frame. And this little guy right here. And I'm going to move him around a little bit more. You'll find a good position. And that'll line up to the next one, the next part, and go from there. Once that's on, and it's good, I'm going to check it with the air, make sure it doesn't blow off. And now we're going to be a little bit more, uh, a little more direct with this. We're going to put more paint on. So we're going to pass everything over. We're going to do at least twice on the whole thing. Oh, I've got to make sure I get over here the same. And I can kind of pick it up and just check it. Yep. I got a good pattern. You know, yeah, I'm going to just give it a little peek. Yep, so you got some coverage. I don't want to move it too much. I don't want to like shift the registration. I'm going to give it one more pass. And then I'm going to get a heavier pass on the top side. I don't want to flood it with black. If I do that, the metallic silver is not going to show through. Okay, let's see what we got. We got a nice, cool lace pattern. And then I'm going to do, just like the other pieces, that same drop shadow. And then we're going to candy it. And when we candy it, we're going to have a really cool layout overall. I'll show you everything here. So we'll have these three windows up here. We have the fish scales, the fan pattern, and the lace. And we're going to be good to go. I'm going to hit this one little thing. And this part is done. We'll move on to the next part. And that part's gonna go onto the side cover and continue on. It's gonna have great continuity. So those are how you do the three, these three inset panel, low rider kind of style pieces. It's gonna look really cool, candied. I'll show you that at the very end and how we work our way out of it. It'll be killer. Okay, so I got all my pattern work done. Everything's done and ready. I'm gonna go through, before I do anything else, I'm gonna check my tapes, make sure we're not gonna get any bleed throughs through anything. This is really important. It takes a few minutes, but it saves hours of cleanup work if you mess up. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna layer a couple different candy colors over this. I'm gonna start with House Color Oriental Blue Candy. It's mixed into the Trans Nebulae or their Zero Zero Carrier, or you can use, um, SG-150. Don't use SG-100 for this. That's only good for intercoding um, and like spraying a little bit of graphics, but at the level I'm going to spray it, you definitely want good coverage, so you don't want to use SG-100. I'm going to use my I want a TH2 because I'm going to lay this in very soft. I don't want it super wet, uh, and I'm going to go for Oriental Blue, and then I'm going to add a Cobalt Blue candy to the top just to set it and make it deeper. So we're going to do coats kind of light, you know, like a medium wet. It's really only going to take a pass or two. Okay, we're gonna let that flash between coats. I'm gonna give it at least two coats. I'm gonna check it for a third, but I'll probably do two coats of this. Then I'll start my um, cobalt blue candy to darken it. 
And then if I need to blend it out a little bit with more, I know I will. But that's kind of the process I'll do on this. And then we'll unmask and do the next layer and you'll see how we go from darker blues to lighter blues back to the factory silver on the outside of the bike and get that multi-layered effect. All right, and that is the process. Okay, so for the second coat, I want to get a little bit of blue sparkle in here on top of the silver. So I added just a little bit of blue Meta Jewel into my uh, second coat of candy. And then I'm gonna go over it with the cobalt in the darker areas. And that's really gonna get rich and deep now, each color, but I'm not gonna go too far because I wanna have a layering effect. So two coats of this, then I'm gonna go over with the cobalt blue in the drop shadow area and then uh, we'll start on tape and looking at it. Okay, and the very last is cobalt blue. And you're just gonna go half tone fade down, kind of like a drop shadow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of kiss around the whole thing once, but the majority is gonna be in the top side. So I have a cobalt blue to oriental blue fade. A little hard to see in the video, but in person, when it's all in mass, it's gonna be a really vivid, bright blue, especially when the sun hits all that silver underneath and that meta jewel, it's gonna pop serious. So wait on for the next step. So now that that's all dry, the next step in the process is to unmask the next layer. And how I've done this, because I sheet mask this whole thing, I've taken an exacto blade, I can see the indents where the tape of the next section is. So I've gone around on the tape itself, light pressure and I've cut through just the first layer touching the tape and I haven't <laughs> cut down into the paint layer I got a little bleed through here I got to fix you know somebody I had a little tear that I didn't check a little paint there but because my silver has been clear coated and sanded I can just before I paint I can just wet sand that out and get rid of it and then after I cut these are the sections I'm pulling off I'm going slow because I have an eighth inch tape here I don't want to pull that up and what I'm going to do with this eighth, I'm going to remove this one and fix it, and I'll put a new piece back just to make it easier. I'll retape this, and this is going to go just a light blue. I'm going to halo all around the pinstripe and all around the edge. Let the inside stay a little bit more silver, but you know, darker on the edges. Then I'll drop shadow it again, probably with the cobalt blue or just a second passing of the actual oriental blue is the plan for this. So I'm going to do both sections, check everything, make sure it's all perfect. So I got another little bleed through right there. And these are just got nothing to do with the tape or my masking. Like this one, I actually I poked through by accident with something. A little bleed through. So you just take your time and check it and make sure it's all good. When you're doing layouts like this, it's all about your prep and taking your time and making sure things are right. And if you do that, everything goes a lot smoother. Okay, so I'm going to retape that because that's staying silver, blue, and we will move on to the next phase. Okay, so the last step, I finished up the panel area, unmasked it, checked all my tape. Now I'm going to do straight candy oriental blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass, I'm going to follow the lines of the eighth inch and the outer, leaving some transitional gradients in the larger areas. 
and just kind of following it along. Steady, steady. And just following around evenly. And I'm going to do this two times. I'm going to go around the outer, following it. Now this is totally your call. At this point, you, know, you could go in and you could add other patterns in here, textures. I don't want to. I'm just doing a nice fade. My second pass, I'm going to go a little stronger on the candy, a little wetter. I'm going to even out this blend a little bit more, just do a light pass. Still following the same shape. Okay. A little heavier down here. Now I'm going to pull this. Pull the fine line, and I'm going to pass over everything one more time because I don't want this bright silver. The only thing I want to be bright silver is the eighth inch. The sixteenth will be a little bit bluer. So one nice pass, pass and a half, say, we'll get a nice even look. And that way we get a lot of different values and tone through the overall piece. It's not just two different blues. By layering candies, you'll get multiple tones of blue with only using two colors. I've only used two candies on this whole thing. Now I'm just gonna pass over the tape where the tape was. I might do another just light pass. And I want to even everything out to where I want it. And I'm going to do the rest of the pieces. Then we're going to unmask almost everything and go on to the last color step. Stay tuned for the next. Actually, I don't like that right there. We're going to even that out a little bit. There's going to be a heavier shadow in here when I do the next color. We'll get it working. All right, everyone, here's the last step. Everything's been unmasked clean. I've checked all my edges, made sure my tape edges are good. All the tape that I want off is off. Uh, I've had a couple little bleed throughs because this was cleared sand that I just took a little lacquer thinner or a little reducer and went around the edges and got any bleed throughs, anything that was a mistake. Make sure it's all done because this is the crucial time to get it right. What I've done is I've taken a base coat black, added a little bit of Transnebulae 00, or you can use SU100 just a little bit to make the black a little bit more transparent. And I added about 5 10% of the candy cobalt blue from this step. So the black has a slight bluish cast to it. It really looks like a almost like a smoke gunmetal gray that's that goes with this scheme. I'm going to do the same thing I did around these. I'm going to follow my tape edges. I'm going to follow my outer edges and do a nice transitional gradient and then unmask it and this puppy is done. So the big thing here is make sure your movements are very smooth. Use your whole body. I'm using my arms, my shoulders, everything and kind of figuring out my game plan. I usually start on the tape and I come off. I transition right on. Probably about a 50-50 overlap. I try to be consistent. I usually go twice. I'm stopping at the corner because now I can pick back up here. Come around. 
and you won't see my start and stop because I kind of came in and went off the tape and kind of came back on. I did it at the corner transition. Same thing here. You don't want to be too much black in here. That's why I'm not using straight black. Straight black would kill this. I'm a little closer. I'm following right along the tape. Very steady. This definitely takes a little bit of control and practice. I'm going to do it twice. I'm going to a little further away the second time because I want the transitional fade to go more away from the tape down towards the bottom of the bag. So I went further down this way. I'm going to let that transition right to the bottom of the bag. I'm going to do another hit right on top. I want that a little darker for drop shadows. And then I'm going to smooth everything out, smooth around here. And we're going to unmask it. And that's it. I'm going to finish off this, unmask it, and show you that in just a sec. And after some unmasking, clean up, making sure everything looks perfect, everything's in line. She is ready for the first round to clear. Something like this will typically get cleared twice because you get a lot of layering. Usually we'll do three coats of clear, maybe four. Let that sit for a day, sand that flat, make sure all the edges are good, check all our tape outs, and that's a good time to do any repairs if we need to. And then we'll do a final round of clear, wet sand polish it, goes on the bike, and this thing will be done. That is the basic process of all the different layerings of doing pattern work, some tape out, some candies, things like that. And stay tuned for some more videos. I'll go over more videos on how I did the actual tape out. This one I just wanted to be more about the, I want it to be more about once it's taped, how to do the different patterns, candy layering, and sequentially mask yourself out to get this really cool multi-layered pattern. Stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications. See you all real soon. session of clear this will sit for a day wet sand it again and then do another two to three coats wet sand and buff it finish it off it'll be good to go hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe make sure you hit for notifications for more videos and we will see you all soon thanks for watching